Hey everyone, in this episode we'll be introducing the update functionality to our system. So uh, let's go ahead and update one of these records. Let's pick the second one here. So I click update and here what I've created behind the curtain is a new route and I call it YouTube route here and I create it with a parameter passed through the URL and it create a new action for that for sure. That is basically this update action. So it accepts an ID and also a request I'll be using for the form submission. So inside it, we simply have this instruction just to check that the ID is valid here. So here I, just, I simply return a nil, but it's better really to display an error for the user. And after this, we created the entity manager, very classic, just to get the doctrine and to get a manager. And here I created an, an instance with the YouTube command based on the ID passed as a parameter on the URL. And after that, we create the form with that class and here we inject the data in order to get these fields pre-filled and here we define it the form submission stuff so executing the handler request as we as we did in the previous episodes uh, the classic if statement is submitted and is valid and here i'm setting the various field with the various new data that we get from the form we we saw this in the previous episodes and finally the specificity of this is that we don't need to present exist here but we can simply flush directly because what is happening here is that entity manager is aware that we are editing an entity of type youtube command with a very specific id so we don't really need to persist and to tell him to do that for that specific entity so let's go ahead and do a quick test uh, for our code here so good book and let's pick this to 500 hit save so everything went well let's go ahead and check the database so this is it uh with the id 11 and let's go ahead and implement a redirection so here if you still remember we did this here previously let's go ahead and copy this here after the flush we can simply do this and we're direct to youtube list though so this is quite good and here if i do refresh again I will get redirected, but here it's saying command deleted, which is not correct. Let's say command updated successfully. So go ahead and test command updated successfully. We reached the end of this series. Hopefully that was really enjoyable and beneficial for all of you. So I'm just waiting for your suggestions. And by the way, the source code is available on GitHub. You can check in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a couple of words and peace.